Okay, so here we are in the opening screen for each of your spreads, and today we're going to work on indexing all the names. As you can see, there's names on cap in captions, there's names in the text, there's names in the interviews, um, as well as, of course, all the faces that we see and then the members of the team. So there's a whole, whole bunch of names that we have going on here. So if we go to view index at the top, all of you should be able to see that in your spread. And you can see that uh, already the the Wallsworth software has match names to, to people that it automatically sees are in the spread. For example, Evan Field, Connor Finn, Nathan Ellenbos, Peter Daniels. It's already recognized their names and it's added them to the index. That's this side. Over here are things that the Wallsworth software thinks are names but isn't quite sure. So, for example, um, we have Kerry Heaney. Well, he is definitely in the spread. He is definitely a real person. So we can go here and we so selected his name and we can type in Heaney and we'll look for him and he doesn't have a portrait in. So we're going to have to add him as a new student. I'm pretty sure he is a senior. So we would do that. He's in 12th grade and there it is. So we've saved. It just means he didn't get a picture taking in uh, through life touch. And so we'll get a picture of him later. So if there's, for example, there's some names here that aren't names like fight with might, that, that is a, not a name. So we, would, we can just X that out. And if there are names that are hopefully in the spread, let's look and see if we can match sparks here. Well, we have Sullivan Sparks, but not Connor. He's another one that we would need to add as a new student. So we put him in the 12th grade, save, and now he is added to the index, and there he is. What you're creating is at the end of the book, the yearbook, there's an index with a list of all the students' names and the pages that they are found on. And it's really important that we get this do this correctly and do this thoroughly because we want to add every single name that we possibly can to the spread. So these are the names that it, that it kind of recognizes and then you have to put them uh, in on this side. And then there's some names over here that may or may not be in the spread. For example, if you're seeing um, Mrs. Williams, I don't know if she's mentioned in the spread or not. Maybe, maybe she is, maybe she's not. Um, but if she is not, then we'd have just go over here to X and delete her. And then I'm not sure who this person is. Okay, so that is how we enter the names into the index. So it start with uh, names over here that we need to recognize, continue with names over here that, that are in the wrong place or the right place, and then every single person whose name appears in the spread or whose face appears in the spread, you need to index. And probably the easiest thing to do would just be to go to the football team or whatever team list and enter those names individually. And you would do that here by adding the name to the index. And you can select the student uh, student name here. For example, um, you know, let's say Mr. Ellis is on the football team. He is not, but if he was, then we would select that there and we'd add me but I'm not, so we're not going to. Okay, so that is what we do to do the indexing. And good luck, it's gonna be awesome. Thank you.